Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna be unboxing the low profile GTX 1650. And also we're gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install it in your desktop. So let's get started. Just letting you know, I got this graphics card off of eBay for $160. I'll have an affiliate link in the description down below if you want to go buy it. So let's unbox this graphics card. So here's the low profile design of the GeForce GTX 1650. So this is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 video graphics card from MSI. It is the low profile design and is the OC edition, which means it is overclockable. So if we take a look at the back, so this graphics card is a PCI Express 16X graphics card with four gigs of RAM. And this graphics card has one HDMI and one DVI output. So this graphics card supports the MSI Afterburner software, which allows you to do high-end video editing, graphics, and gaming, which includes an application that you can use to do stuff on the road. Okay, so let's take a look inside the box. So what's included inside the box? So first you get an MSI product card info, it's just some advertising thing. And then you get an MSI quick user's guide. And then you get the low profile bracket, and then you get the GTX 1650. So here's the GeForce GTX 1650, and it comes with the twin cooling fans, and here's the heat sink on the side. Here you can see the DVI and HDMI output. And already pre-installed, it comes with a full-size bracket. Here's the low profile bracket, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna be taking this off and replacing it with the low profile bracket. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver like this. Then you're gonna undo this screw right here under the HDMI port. And then once that's out, you're gonna need to set of pliers of source like these, and then you're just gonna wanna loosen them. And remember while you're doing this, try your best not to touch the circuit board, and if you can, never do it. So first thing you need to do is place the new bracket onto the graphics card. And then with your hands, you're just gonna wanna screw them down as much as you can and then just tighten the screws back in. And now the low profile bracket is attached to the graphics card. So any of you worrying about your graphics card overheating, you don't need to worry because there's holes in the back of the bracket that allows air to be drawn into the graphics card to cool it down. Now let's go install it into the case. So the computer we're using for today's tutorial is a HP Elite 8200 that has an i5 processor in it. And I picked it up on Facebook the monitor and the desktop for around a hundred dollars but you can find one but you can find just the desktop in your area for maybe 60 to 80 dollars so you're going to need a dvi cable or a hdmi cable it just depends on what your monitor is but with this computer and monitor i'm going to be using a dvi cable so now we're going to open up the case and install the graphics card so on this computer we're going to be looking for the 16x pcie slot which is the black one so the first thing you're gonna need to do is unclip this. You're gonna remove these two co covers right here. Now we're gonna put the video card in, but before you put it in, there's gonna be a cover on the pins. So make sure you remove the cover before you get it into the slot, like so. Then, so now we're gonna install it. So what you wanna do, you wanna get this under here, and then you're gonna push it down like so. Make sure not to touch the circuit board. And then you'll hear it pop in. And now what you're gonna do is lift this back up and click it back into place. Now we're gonna put the cover back on. Like so. Now we're gonna get our video cable. Here I'm connecting the video cable to the correct slot. So now I've booted the computer and hit F10 and went into the BIOS. And in the BIOS, we're gonna make some changes to fit this video card. So on this HP Elite 8200, you're gonna move over to the advanced setting and select device options. And here, you're gonna make sure the integrated video is disabled. Now, if yours is enabled, you just wanna switch it over to disable. And then you're gonna press F10 to accept. Then you're gonna hit escape. And then you're gonna to go to save changes and exit by pressing the enter key. And then you're gonna press enter again. 
Now it's rebooting to make sure the program is on the new card. Now you're gonna have to go to your settings and adjust your native video settings. To change your native video setting, you're gonna do a right click on your desktop, and then you're gonna go to display settings, and then go to your native video settings for your monitor. Press 1920 by 1080. If that is your monitor native, native mo if that is your mo native monitor settings, and now you're gonna keep changes, and now you're gonna go on the internet and look up the MSI website for the GeForce GTX 1650 and download the drivers. And you can download the driver here or you can install the software for automatic video drivers. In this case, we're gonna install the automatic video driver. So you're just gonna to wanna to press the top one. And then press download now. So this is an NVIDIA GeForce experience and the automatic software will automatically will automatically keep all your drivers up to date. Now we're fully downloaded with the software and now we're gonna open the software. And then it will ask you if you want this app to make changes to your device, you're just gonna say yes. And then press yes again. Now it's installing the GeForce experience. Now you're just gonna press agree to install now it's going to ask you to log in, but if you don't have an account, you can create one. You're just going to have to put in your email address. You can put in your display name, password, and confirm, and confirm your password and put in the year and day you were born. And then you can choose the settings that you want here. There is recommended settings and technical settings, but I'm just going to press continue. Now we'll ask you to verify your email address. I've already verified it, so I'm just gonna press continue. You're just gonna to wanna to press continue. And here the driver is ready to download and install. Now I've downloaded the driver. Now I'm just gonna install the video driver. You're just gonna to wanna to press okay. And now I'll be installing. Now it's just checking system compatibility. Now you're just gonna click the NVIDIA graphics driver and, and press agree and continue. Here you have a choice of having a custom or express and I'm just gonna press express and then next. And now the, now the NVIDIA graphics driver is doing a full install. It's installing but just be patient because it takes a few minutes to install. Through this process you might see your monitor flicker on and off but it'll be okay. Now this is finished installing we're gonna hit close. And now to make sure that everything went according to plan, you're gonna type in device manager in the search bar. Now that it's open, you wanna to go to the display adapter and now you won't see NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. Double click on it and you will see that the drivers are installed now. Now it's all done. And now you can enjoy your video card. Now that you've checked your driver, you can access your video control panel by pressing the arrow key and it will be right there. Just press on it once and it will open it up. Now you're gonna click agree and continue. Now it will open up the NVIDIA control panel where you can manage all your video settings for your video card. Now you can go back to your GeForce page and press on utility up here. And you can install the afterburner by pressing the arrow key right here and the MSI live updates. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on more tech tutorials like this. And also comment down below if I should do more tech tutorials or if I should do more reviews. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.